Since the infamous bus incident back in April, we have not seen Habib and Connor in the same place. McGregor's social media trash talk has gotten personal, but with their highly anticipated matchup fast approaching, Chael, is this enough promotion for a fight this size? Is it enough? It's completely unnecessary. Listen, this fight is sold, guys. The only time, the only thing separating these two is time and space, and business is going to do great. As a matter of fact, a report came out today to say it is the second hottest ticket item in the history of the UFC. This was by Dave Meltzer. I need to give him credit only to be outdone by Conor McGregor versus Eddie Alvarez at MSG, which was Conor's last time fighting in mixed martial arts. So, yes, look. Everything is wonderful here. I'm all for cheap heat. I'm, I'm all for a cheap pop. I don't think that Connor needed to do it. Connor actually went a little bit after Khabib's father, who by most standards is very much off limits, but I'm all for it. And Connor, to quote him, simply said, hey guys, this is war. I'm getting ready for war. So to hell with all of you. And Ariel, for me, as a fight fan, that's compelling. I was wondering, Chill, like, okay, when is it gonna start? And how far is Connor gonna go? Because we know from the Floyd Mayweather fight and from other fights in the past against Jose Aldo, against Eddie Alvarez, nothing is taboo for Connor McGregor. One of my most memorable, and we'll talk about this in a bit, but one of the most memorable aspects of the Floyd fight, if you're calling, I know you're not a big sports fan, but when Connor McGregor showed up wearing a CJ Watson Golden State Warriors jersey, and everyone was like, why is he wearing a Golden State Warriors jersey? And that's because it was a very personal thing and an accusation. Uh, towards Floyd Mayweather, he was trying to get under his skin, and it ruffled a lot of feathers, and some people thought he crossed the line. Some people thought that was a topic that was off limits. And so eventually we got over all that, the fight happened, and, and we know where we stand. And now the first thing he talks about is Habib's dad. To your point, Habib's dad is off limits. Habib's dad is so respected, so revered, and you're seeing the tweet slash IG post right here. I mean, this is someone who anyone, anyone who is somewhat in relation to Habib, part of his team works with him. They talk about Habib's father with so much respect and admiration, adulation. I mean, it's an amazing thing to hear these men and women talk about Habib's father. Javier Mendez talks about him with the utmost respect. And now Connor's first strike is about Habib's dad. And the second strike, he's talking about Chechnya and Dagestan and calling one of uh, Habib's training partner slash friends, a traitor. I mean, he is going there. And these are places that no one who has fought Khabib in the past has wanted to go. But that's Connor's MO. All's fair in love and fight promotion. So to me, I'm not gonna say that I support this, but I'm sitting back and reading it. I'm like, wow, Connor's actually going there. This is gonna get very interesting. We know that it's not fake. We know that this is not fabricated. I just can't wait to see them actually be in the same room once again, face to face. I hear they're gonna do a press conference in New York. They're not gonna do a world tour. And I'm curious from, I, I have a feeling I know what you're gonna say, but do you feel like that's enough? Because I feel like, could you imagine them going to Dublin? Could you imagine them going to Moscow for a press conference? That would be the most unbelievable scene in the history of combat sports, but it sounds like they're not gonna do it. Part of me is a little upset, but part of me thinks like, you know what? They probably don't need to do it. You know, Era, you've got me so curious. I didn't get the sports reference earlier. I don't know that baseball team, and I sure I baseball surely don't know who TJ Watts is, but I will look TJ it up Watt. later. I'm very curious how it got under his skin and what the jersey meant. Thank you for the story. I do want to say this to you. I agree that the press tour would be a ton of fun, and I do have wonderful memories of the Mayweather-McGregor uh, press tour. However, I don't know that Khabib could uphold his end of the bargain in fairness, and Khabib would probably be the first to tell you, look, that's not really my strong point. Dana White touched on this topic. To quote Dana White, he said, we'd love to do a world tour. We simply don't have time. I accept that. Yes, I do think it's going to be enough. I believe the footage of the dolly versus the bus is a $5 million piece of marketing that, that was organic and not Nothing beats something uh, that's organic. I think with the help of the worldwide leader here at ESPN, we're going to do more than enough to move the needle on this. And the box office, which is already stuffed, packed, and sold out, fully represents that. Errol, did you see an interview that was done just yesterday uh, by uh, Khabib's head coach, Javier Mendez, where he openly said, we're well aware of what we're getting into. We are the superb grappler, in our opinion, though Connor is a good grappler. Connor is the superb striker, in our opinion, though we can strike a little bit. I thought that was a very fair assessment. You don't usually get uh, let in and revealed behind the curtain where Javier simply said there is simply not enough time for us to catch Connor McGregor with his stand-up and with his awkwardness, with his uniqueness. He said some very nice things. I liked that, Errol. And the reason I liked it, even, even though it's anti-promotion, 
It's very positive and letting us into the mindset that these guys have studied tape and these guys are very realistic about what they're getting into. Do you agree? Yes. At its core, this fight is the classic grappler versus striker matchup. Uh, if, if the fight stays standing, everyone favors Connor. If the fight goes to the ground, everyone favors Khabib. That's kind of what I love most about it. it it's an old school type of fight. By the way, Dolly footage. Is it cross? Should they not use it? Most disgusting. Should they not use it? Or are you okay with it? They absolutely should use it. I think that the uh, precedent has already been set between John Jones and Daniel Cormier, uh, Cormier that went all the way up to commissions and sanctions and fines and community service on uh, behalf of all of them. We've already broken that barrier. There's no sense in hiding behind it. It's the fight business, and that was real. I agree. For more Ariel and the bad guy, sign up now for ESPN Plus.